thanks for joining me, mate. But it's not the nicest circumstances to talk after a defeat like that, is it? But I mean, obviously, it comes down to, I guess, a penalty decision, uh, an own goal. Do you think that was maybe then a result that was a fair reflection on the game from the side? No, I don't feel like it was a fair, fair reflection. Um, penalty is contentious, I think, in my opinion, probably so as ours. And then I think against the run of play, obviously, we scored an own goal. I know it's unfortunately it, it's going to be harsh when people write reports on, on Corey Jordan, but you know he's he's been good recently. Mm. So I don't think he hopefully he doesn't feel too bad tonight. It's, you know we've all been there and had bad moments and. It's part of his learning experience, I think. Um, I think after maybe the first 25, 30 minutes, we were we were much the better team. And probably instead of creating chances, created opportunities to create chances. If that yeah. makes sense, you never. I don't think we ever really put them under loads of pressure. We had a lot of nice balls. We probably put the ball a lot in the box and really managed to get on the end of it. But no, I, I, I don't think the result is, is a fair reflection of the game. Obviously, it was it was tough to watch them celebrate at the end after breaking that streak. But we obviously get a chance of redemption within the next week. So, is it, is it you know, have you got that fire in your belly? The, the lads got that fire in their belly yeah, to go out there and, course, and write those. Yeah, of course, got the fire in the belly. Everybody had the fire in the belly before the game, mm. half time. You know, those scenes at the end, although difficult to watch, I suppose stoke the fire if, mm. if anything. Um, just heard inside that one of the supporters has been hit by an object in, in, in this crowd, so you know, just ridiculous. So, yeah, it hurts, that's a lot. It would be difficult to be around for the next couple of days, but I think sometimes when you get beat, and, and obviously, we've just been beaten by our closest rival, so it's, it's the worst thing to get beat by, right? You can ignite something that could end up being positive. And if if we go there and obviously and get some sort of result, then it'll be nice. It'll be sweet because I don't know many players who, who go and celebrate in front of away fans like that. Not really for me, to be honest. But yeah, we'll, we'll see him in a week's time. Do our best to get something out of the game. Obviously, you know, captain of the side, part of that leadership group. Is it? Is it is, what you, you're quite experienced as well. You've probably been there with, with a few of these defeats. Um, it hurts a bit, but there is just that, that opportunity to go about it again and, and get back to it. So is it just about picking the players up this week and, and telling them there's, there's a rest of the season to go? Maybe. I mean, we're obviously, I've, uh, recently we've been really good. Mm. We've got a lot of results recently. So losing, losing always hurts, but losing to them hurts more. Mm. I would say, obviously, before this season, didn't have, and probably most of the guys can say that they didn't have a huge emotional attachment to, to the club. Mm. But then when you meet people, and um, and I must highlight that during the week we had a, a guy called Pete, in a, a supporter of the club, lifelong supporter, came in to, to discuss how much the club means to him and, and what this game means to him. So, and I must apologise obviously to everybody because it's not very really nice that we've been beaten by the, by the arguably the team that supporters want us to beat the most. Mm. Fully aware of that. But it does mean a lot. It means a lot to us. And it was a difficult change room to be in after the game. But you're right, if there's one thing we can do, it's react, train hard, prepare properly, and go to Woking, which is going to be difficult again. Try and get something out of the game. Click here for the latest match highlights and click here to subscribe. Are you in with a shot? Look below for more information.